how can you create trust or psychological safety? What have you seen as some techniques that people can use mm-hmm. that, that are effective? Yeah, I, 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 I'm a big proponent of truth telling, right? And so creating an environment, whether it's your team or, or your team culture or your organizational culture, whatever you're looking at. And how can we create a, a cultural safety zone, you know, a place where we can be open and honest to talk, even if it doesn't feel safe initially, or we feel a little bit vulnerable, right? Or we feel like we're taking a risk, but we create parameters around that conversation, right? Here are our guidelines, here are our ground rules, quote unquote, about how we're going to interact with each other, how we're going to respect each other, how we're going to hear each other, listen to each other, so that people really can start telling the truth about their own experiences. And I talk about this as truth with a small t, right? Because my truth is not going to be somebody else's truth necessarily, because we've had different experiences that we filter through our own lenses, our own brains. But how can we create an environment where we can talk about what's actually going on? Because I find that that not only builds trust, but allows us to then address, as you said, root causes and and reality. There's often a reality in teams and organizations that gets skipped, right? We just never talk about what's actually going on. So it sounds like the leader needs to create that context first and set that up. I think the leader has the leader has to create the context, right? Because they're role modeling and, and they need to have that behavior. And then I also, I'm a big fan and believer of that, the symbiotic relationship between the leader and the followers or the leader and the employees, the entire group. So how am I, so if I'm, I'm on a team and the leader's role modeling this, how am I, how am I choosing to respond? How I'm choosing to respond also matters, right? I don't believe it's all entirely on the leader, but they do need to, they need, need to lead that charge and everyone else needs to, to come along and participate. I think it's both. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. If I put it in my own words, you tell me if this feels right to you. Okay. It's like the leader is maybe responsible for setting up the invitation and it's the followers responsible for accepting it.